ஹலோ ட்ரேடர்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு த சேனல் ஸோ த டாக் ஆஃப் த டவுன் இஸ் எஸ்விபி பேங்க் ரைட் சிலிகான் வேலி பேங்க் ஸோ மச் ஆஃப் ரூமர் ஸோ மச் ஆஃப் கான்ஸ்பிரசி மார்க்கெட் வில் கேஷ் கிராஷ் டவுன் தே ஆர் கம்பேரிங் வித் லீமன் பிரதர் கொலாப்ஸ் லெட் மீ ஆஸ்க் யூ ஒன் சிம்பிள் கொஷன் டூ யூ ரியலி நோ அபவுட் அ பேங்க் கால் எஸ்விபி டில் லாஸ்ட் வீக் அண்ட் ஆன்சர் இஸ் நோ ரைட் நோ படி நியூ அபவுட் எஸ்விபி பேங்க் அண்ட் suddenly every tom dick and harry is coming and talking so much of conspiracy they are talking about ripple effect domino effect so on and so forth uh, see this is not uh, what we wanted i can tell you nothing is really going to happen and this is happening in the us and this svb bank is not even the top fifth bank in the us there are more banks uh, morgan chase uh, wells fargo these are all str- very big banks and having strong foundation they are stable why do we have to worry about a very small bank which is collapsing in some other continent right anyway i am see i know that people in even in our telegram group people are talking so much there are lots of things happening there are lots of humors they are just sharing all types of handle in twitters and social media i am not saying no in fact fis have also having or increase their short position in index future i am not saying there is a bearishness in the market no denial about that but my perspective about the market or my outlook about the market is this is not going to be a very big uh, thing which uh, like what people are anticipating this night this might not be a lehman brother collapse or this might not be a uh 2008 event so this is not going to be a global economy or uh, uh, us finan- uh, financial uh, collapse it is not going to be anything as such so my outlook or my perspective about the market is we we might be consolidating with a negative bias but we might not have a big crash or big uh, uh, whatsoever bloodbath like what people are anticipating that's what i think uh, even though i'm have having this kind of outlook i might go wrong i i have gone wrong but i can tell you fis are having huge short position in in fact they have increased their short position on friday we'll talk about that we'll also see what is going to be the levels in terms of nifty and bank nifty i will leave it to you you decide whether the market is going to go to 7000 or it is going to go to 20000 i'm talking about nifty you decide whether it is <laughs> whatever you think might be right right whatever i think might also be right right but my perspective i am saying it again my perspective or my outlook about the market is we might not go anywhere we might be consolidating with a huge swing okay so that being said uh, this is the open interest uh, in fact we have uh, i'll tell you uh, both me and our members have huge put writings we have huge puts both in uh, not both in nifty but we have in squared off we have even 17400 17200 put option return so that much of confident or that much of thing we have in terms of uh, uh, market we believe that the market might not go see this svb bank issue you will you think uh, they will uh, they will just default they will come up with one or other idea they will maybe the bank will federal reserve will come up and they will infuse some money they will bail out them or they will merge with some other bank there are lots of huge uh, companies uh, in uh, us they will merge with some or something else before tomorrow morning or before to our market so so if you think you are going to short the market after seeing this news and if the market reverses you are going to be in big trouble that's what i'm trying to say so again and again and again i'm saying nothing is going to happen that's what uh, i believe and that is what my perspective about the market is now if you see here open interest wise there is 17500 calls being written hugely maybe people might think or people have written 17500 call options on the last uh, trading day which is friday now uh, 17400 might act as a resistance in fact we closed above 17400 on friday we exactly closed at around 17400 uh, 12 levels now if you see this uh, nifty chart this is the day chart and if you see this the 
budget day low is somewhere around 17,250 levels. Now, if you have been following us, I have told many times that 17,250 is a very, very strong support. And in fact, the last few videos, we have seen these levels being rejected. If you go back and see our videos, I have shown clearly the 17,250 levels will be a good support. And now also, even if it gaps down tomorrow below 250 levels, uh, 17,250 levels, it might retrace, uh, it may uh, try to retrace to 17,000 above 17,250 levels. I'm sure it is not going to gap up if there is any positive news and if it gaps up, maybe we will see 17,500 levels. And in terms of Bank Nifty, Bank Nifty is firmly in the green and it even didn't touch uh, budget day low of 39,500 levels, which is the budget day low. It is uh, even though there was a 700 points gap, up on, gap down on Friday, we, we didn't even touch uh, 30, 40,000. In fact, it tried to sustain above 40,500 levels. So if it, uh, if at all, if uh, there is, uh, there is a negative news, if at all there is a gap down, maybe it will gap down around 40,000 levels and it will try to retrace. This is what I believe. Believe. Now the main problem here is that when you when we short the market and if there is any positive news, in fact Monday is a day where Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell is going to come out and he is going to, there is a meeting, Federal Reserve meeting on Monday. If there is any positive news, then short covering is going to happen and whoever shorted the market is going to be in big trouble. They are going to see their capital eroded. So better you hedge your position, positions properly and make sure you don't do any adjustment. That's what I want to uh, tell you again and again and again. Nothing is going to happen. Don't be afraid. This is the world market. This is somewhere happening in the US not in India. We have a very different attitude. When it comes to retail investors, our retail investors have a whole different attitude and we don't have to compare with US market. And when it, in terms of uh, open interest, as I, as I, so, as I told you, 17,500 is having the highest open interest in uh, Nifty. And in terms of Bank Nifty, uh, Bank Nifty, if you see, there is a 40,500 short straddle being written at 40,500 and put side 40,000. That's why I, I told you in case there is a gap down, 40,000 is going to be a strong support and in case it is going to gap up, it is not going to gap up. In case it is gapping up, maybe 41,000 will hit. That's what I think and that is what is my belief. And in starting of this video, I told there is a huge uh, future index short position where FIAs have increased their total outstanding position. And if you see here, they have come from all the way from 111,000 to 150,000. You remember just uh, last Wednesday or Thursday, they had 100 and just 111 active open interest short position. Now they have increased it from 111,000 to 150,000. In fact, that is a big leap. That is a big uh, increase in open interest, and they have reduced their short position from 36, a long position from 36,000 to 28,000. So they have decreased their long position in futures and increased their short positions in future. So this might be a confusing thing. I'm not denying. There is no denial about that, but. Still, I believe there might be a consultation in the market. There wouldn't be any ripple effect. That's what I told. Tomorrow meeting, uh, maybe it is a pain for you. Bear for just two or three days till these issues are over. Once they come out with any positive news, whether it is Federal Reserve Chair or any one or their should be a merger or there should be a bailout immediately market will uh, return uh, take a u-turn and whoever shorted the market or whoever shorted call option are going to be in trouble that is what i think and that is what is going to happen going forward in the next week so i hope i have summarized everything uh, i'll see you in another video don't worry take care bye